Happy Monday, BirthFit community. This is Jerry, and she is very special to the Soul Cycle Santa Monica community. And I was able to track her down and interview her, and I wanted her to share a little bit about um, her experience with exercise, pregnancy, and even some of the postpartum phase. So, Jerry, tell us a little bit about you and your exercise um, training schedule, stuff like that. Okay. Um, well, I was a swimmer in a previous life, <laughs> uh, so I've been an athlete my whole life. And um, going into pregnancy, I had been working out uh, six days a week, just um, a combination of uh, cardio. So running and cycling has kind of been what I've always done. And the year leading up to my pregnancy, I got into Soul Cycle, and they're a great community. Um, I love their classes. <laughs> so when I got pregnant, I continued doing that. And um, I had a great OB that I just asked one question at my first appointment with her about whether or not I could continue with my fitness. And she said, whatever I've been doing, I can continue. Um, if things weren't going well in my pregnancy, then we'd reevaluate that. And thankfully, um, they did go well and I could continue. Um, up until week 38 when I delivered, I ran and did soul just a few days before. Nice. Were there any modifications, say volume-wise, number of days per week, during your pregnancy that you had to adjust maybe second trimester, third trimester, as compared to prior to pregnancy? Um, <laughs> for me, not really. Mm -hmm. um, I was fortunate enough that I felt well enough to continue to do six days a week. Nice. If there if there were, if there was a week that I didn't feel like getting up that morning or doing something, then I didn't. Um, but in terms of whether I had to scale back, no, I did not. Um, if I didn't feel like doing something that day, then I certainly <laughs> listened to myself. But for the most part, not a lot changed. Um, I was running anywhere between 15 to 25 miles a week. And yes, towards the end of my pregnancy, I was probably running closer to 10 to 15, <laughs> you know, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but for the most part, I stayed healthy enough. The baby stayed healthy enough. All of our checkups came back great. And um, I was able to continue with the level that I was before. Nice. So there's all these misconceptions out there about working out while pregnant. Um, fortunately, people are becoming more and more educated. Mm -hmm. How did you know or what made it okay for you to continue to exercise while pregnant? I think the biggest thing that made me feel comfortable continuing to exercise is that my belief was labor and delivery was going to be the most physical thing I have ever been through in my life. Yeah. And just like anything else physical, I wanted to be in shape for it. So it was just a, an instinct to stay fit for labor and delivery. Nice. Um, I didn't view it as anything different than that. So I felt comfortable with being physical um, because labor and delivery is physical. Yeah. Um, I also had the support of my OB. Again, you know, it was just as long as I came back doing great and baby came back doing great um, throughout my checkups, then I could continue doing what I needed to do. So it was a combination of just knowing instinctually that um, this is a physical thing that you're going through. There's no reason to stop being physical. And then the support of my doctor and having those discussions regularly with her. Nice. She sounds awesome. She was awesome. <laughs> so do you think being physically fit as you were, helped with labor and delivery and birth and even the postpartum phase? Yes, um, <laughs> absolutely. I, as I'm sure all women, most women would agree, their labor and delivery, did mine did not go to plan. Um, I actually did turn preeclamptic and was induced um, 12 days early. So for me, I know it affected, um, I did well, baby did well through induction. I can't say whether or not that affected, um, that was affected by my staying in shape throughout my pregnancy. Um, you know, I had an 11 to 12 hour birthing experience and then had her vaginally and um, pushed twice and she came right out. Mm -hmm. So I think we were both ready for that. I also know that I can for 100% uh, certainty say it did affect my postpartum phase and my recovery. 
Um, I was walking four or five days after I delivered her. Um, it was, I truly physically had a very good postpartum experience afterwards. I recovered very quickly. Um, you know, all your stuff that happens to you <laughs> that, that happens afterward um, was minimal for me. It was yeah. less than the average woman. Um, so I know, f I know for a fact that affected my ability to physically be ready to take on the new task of staying up all night and breastfeeding and all the things that take a toll on you. Awesome. So is there one piece of advice you would give women that are, have recently found out they're pregnant, mm -hmm. trying to decide if they should stick with working out or even taking on maybe a walking routine, running routine, something like that? Yeah. I would say that my advice is going to be the same for either someone who's been super physical right. um, prior to pregnancy or that has never done anything and is interested in trying something to be fit or be active during your pregnancy. Um, and it's it's just gonna be, again, this, you're, you're having a baby is physical. Mm. And it is the most physical thing you will do in your life. And I that's even coming from an athletic background. So, to me, I would I would trust your instinct in knowing that staying physically fit, doing something physical for yourself, for your baby, um, will only give you benefits through your labor and delivery and truly for your recovery. You will thank yourself mm. hours after because I think <laughs> it, it really showed its, um, its benefit that soon. Nice. Well, thank you so much for your time. Um, this was an awesome interview and I can't wait to share it. Thank you.